Hi everybody, it's your special programs coordinator Anne from Kids Space Children's Museum. And today I am super excited because I get to transfer my caterpillars into their caterpillar carrier. So I woke up this morning and found that my caterpillars had made chrysalises. So what I'm gonna do is transfer them from the lid of this container and put the lid of that container onto the lid of my pop-up. This is my pop-up. This one's made by Insect Lore, the same company that does the caterpillars. I've had this pop-up for quite a few years and I've used it during our butterfly season at Kid Space. So there's a couple of ways to put the lid of the container onto the lid of the pop-up, or if you have a cardboard box at home, um, if you followed our chrysalis carrier directions online, you can make a chrysalis carrier out of a box. But in my case, I'm going to uh, take the lid and staple it to the inside of this lid. You can also tape it if you like. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use my trusty stapler. So to start, I noticed that, I'm gonna put this right there. I have one little friend who didn't form on the top, but did make a chrysalis. So what I'm gonna do is gently take the lid off. I'm gonna be super careful, because there might be some silk that's attached to the top of the lid from the inside, where our caterpillars have been practicing. Sweet. I'm gonna rest that over here. All right, so I've got my one little friend in there. So I'll take my spoon. I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna push this down and scoop out our little friend. There you go, my friend. Oops. And there we go. So we're just gonna go ahead and set our one little friend down in there. All right, so now I have all five of these guys. So we're gonna take a look. There they are, hanging around. So I'm gonna carefully slide this in here. Take my stapler. And again, I've used this method several times have lots of holes in the top of this carrier. Super resilient. It's gone all the way through. Very nice. Now, I also have a container with one. Where's my little guy? There it is. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Gently pull that lid off. Separate any of those threads. Look at that. This caterpillar has been super busy, eating, practicing, making little threads, and making frass, which um, is another word for caterpillar poop. And do the same thing. Slide that lid in there. Staple it on. Make sure it went all the way through. It sure did. And zip that closed. So these guys, I'm just gonna let them hang out and do their thing. When these guys emerge. I'll go ahead and put in like a slice of orange in there for them so they can drink from that for a day or two. While their wings dry, they're gonna stretch out their wings and dry them off. And when they're all ready, we're gonna release them in our backyard. So guys, thanks for sharing this with me today. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.